It's a PSA, peace to the gods, code of conduct. The internet get cowards an outlet and our husband taught us well. And we see it because we got an OG that's by our side, our husband. Chief, we would never betray him when he's down. Because no. if he was to die today, we down with him. Ain't nothing in this world that's better than him, that's more worthy than him. Before all this shit happened, he already put up us up, put us up on game about what was going to happen anyway. Hey guys, happy Saturday, happy Saturday. I will be doing a live today. It wasn't planned. I did a live on Friday, but I will be doing a live today at 2 p.m. See, a queen never betray her king, no matter what happens and no matter what we go through. You think because he's locked up, we free? No, we locked up with him. We going, we doing his bid with him. Camp Eastern Standard Time. Nine times out of ten, this video will go out after the live. Um, but if so, I don't know if I'm gonna put out before the two p.m. live or after. But make sure if you see this video after, if you miss the live at two p.m. Eastern Standard Time today is Saturday, Happy Saturday, that you go over and check it out. We stand down with him until he come up. Y'all think we gonna come up because he down? No, we down with him. We're going to go through the same thing with him, just like a captain on its ship. The captain goes down with his ship. It has an obligation and a loyalty. The, the, the passengers get off the ship before the captain does. So I don't know what's really going on, but, you know, I'm trying to read between the lines. What is the attitude and the clapback with Malia and the girls? I don't know if it's something that was said that triggered them yesterday or this week and they were ordered to clap back. I don't know what's going on, but they're trying to make it clear to the public that they're going to uh, stand, uh, you know, for Nature Boy, you know, have his back. And, you know, if he's locked up, they're going to be locked up. That's great. But, you know, I made a video. Maybe they got triggered by that, that, you know, if you're going to really hold him down, you need to hold a job down. You know what I'm saying? And stop getting on here, pinning cash apps and and all these things, trying to get up this legal fees to try to get this man out. He's sinking with his ship. We gonna sink with our king. If he down, we down. We riding with him for eternity. Ain't no betraying our king. Because they, they turned their back. Because when we, we was up, they was up. But when we down, where they at now? Turned their back. If you believe in Nature Boy being innocent, and people have ran off and, uh, uh, you know, betrayed him, which I don't understand how you can fix your mouth to say that because you were the last of the Mohegans that were mistreated um, horrifically, if you would ask me. And Malia, you were treated probably the worst in history of anyone being melanated or carbonation. So for you to sit there and act like people don't have the rights to uh, keep it moving and have their opinions on how they really feel about nature boy to me you are in a delusional world so like i said i don't know what's going on it just appears to me like they're in their feelings something was said and nature boy may have brought it to their attention and they're speaking on it on behalf of nature boy but at the end of the day if you were standing 10 toes up or 10 toes down for your man you as his woman, his other half should have been able to tell him that he was destroying himself in the process uh, before he uh, even began. Morals over desires. Keep your principles. And all you fuck niggas in our inbox, we ain't there for it. We stronger than that. We see the weak. We see the demonic energy, the demonic force that's trying to tear us apart. But we stronger together. And maybe he wouldn't be locked up now. Nature Boy put himself in there. He was the person who called the shots over there in Carbonation. He's the one that recorded the shots over there in Carbonation. And he's the one that did everything that he did for the SWATs to come in 90 days prior to him getting locked up. People were watching him and they had to have the SWATs come in and take him out of here. OK, so he's not locked up because he's an innocent man being treated like a guilty man. A lot of what is holding him is the disturbing videos, all of the stuff that they had seized from the house 
as evidence of what he was doing for many of years to these people. And he's looked at to be a danger to society. And what they need to understand is the, the system is trying to protect them as well, you know, and hopefully by holding nature boy down with the separation and them not being able to get to nature boy in the flesh, like what's, you know, happening right now, these people will clear out and hopefully not join back together. So that has been successful, at least uh, with the three women that are still, you know, still in carbonation, because um, I really don't think that Zok is there anymore. That's just my opinion. And if she was, she's not the chiefest. Why would she be on some sort of a vacation or, you know, whatever? You know, like she's Malia, where she doesn't have to get up here and do downloads and represent three gods. But anyways, not getting too far off a topic, uh, I'm going to keep you guys posted on what's going on because to me it just seems like something popped off, something was said. Uh, maybe it triggered the community and everyone's asking behind closed doors, them pressuring questions. And this is why they're clapping back. We don't know what it could be. These people um, have meaningless lives. They say meaningless things. And we just don't know what to take for face value, you know, what to take seriously. Because to me, they just look like women that believe listening to this nonsense, you know, go on and on and on from Nature Boy's mouth that, you know, I don't want a woman with a plan B, that they really started to believe it. So we, we really truly don't know what to take serious and what not to, but it just appears to me that, uh, this was a clap back download or video, an R and M moment. And, you know, Malia said her little piece, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just wondering what triggered her to get up here today and have so much to say, um, with an attitude. You know, if you want to be mad at anybody, it should be a nature boy because he's the one that put you guys through this situation. And, you know, he's going to have to be the one that's going to get himself out of this. You know, a lot of people, even off of social media, believe that, you know, the system is holding nature boy down, trying to get at least time out of him this way because of the evidence that they have against him. Not that he's been convicted of, um, be because they might not be able to sit them down the other way by getting a, a conviction. A lot of those uh, allegations or those um, indictment charges, you know, they are hearsay. And it's not what you know is what you can prove. So I think that this is what Nature Boy is communicating with them. Yeah, they're sitting me down for a while, but that's because they... They don't have anything on me. They can't prove all the evidence that is uh, before them, even with the videos and the ex carbonation members maybe coming forth saying stuff. And they're sitting me down for a while. Well, once this, you know, freezes over, you know what I'm saying? You know, they'll let me go. So this is, this is one of the main reasons why they're trying to go in hard for him. You know, they don't want to leave too soon, and then he gets out right afterwards, and then he kicks them to the curb. That's probably how they're thinking because they have that Stockholm syndrome. And, you know, it's going to take some time to reprogram these women. 